Why do some women get bitter when it ends? Well, for you have had breakups in your life. Have you ever been bitter over a breakup? And if so, why? During, so like, you're not broken up, but you can feel like it's you're starting to break mm -hmm. up and the person starts getting like more antsy and aggravated, I guess. On and edge. distant. Yeah. I distant. mean, personally, we'll I felt that before and I do get irritated because, you know, I still have love for this person and right. the fact that it's not going well or like and nothing's you. improving and I just feel like I'm going to lose this person. Like, I get very, like, bitchy because i'm like the fuck yeah. <laughs> like i want this to work you know like but i'm doing everything i can and it just doesn't seem to work so that right. that anger that frustration just shows throughout mm -hmm. the ending and then boom gone. and i guess that's portrayed as a bitter characteristic but it's really or worry and uncertainty it's a form of hurt you know right like i'm hurting Absolutely. and You're it's hurting. showing out of my expressions you know? right it might be being really mean to you but it's like out of love in a way i guess it's one of those unfortunate moments where you just have to kind of mentally prepare yourself for what's coming yeah or maybe because he's being a pussy and he's not manning up and doing things he should be doing to make things work on his end i feel like even if if i've been in situations where we're both putting in our all and maybe it's just, just like not compatible it's not working yeah and it's frustrating because it's like no matter how hard you try, if you're not meant to be together, you're not meant to be together. I agree. I've been extremely hurt, I'll tell you that. You know, and like from my last relationship, you know, the relationship left me with a lot of moments of insecurity or a lot of mental turmoil, I guess you could say. So that's like the unfortunate part. And I'm kind of, I've gone a little upset about that because number one, I cared for the guy. It's kind of like what you say that you care for the person so much that when you feel the relationship just wither away, it's really frustrating and irritating. And it's really sad too. Mm -hmm. And then after that ends, there's that fear, worry, and uncertainty, you know, and then you kind of have to recover from what the relationship, like the, I guess, the negative aspects of the relationship. Like in my case, I've had to recover from the mental turmoil as well as, you know, the whole uh, wishy-washy kind of uh, kind of behavior and try to get myself back on my feet and tell myself, hey, you know, there's other things out there for me. Let me just mm -hmm. take it easy. Because that's the scary. best thing you can do. You, you shouldn't force anything. Everything has to be organic. That, Not that it has to be, but it's highly, on my end, I highly recommend letting it just happen. And, you know, when a relationship is organic, keep it that way. Because you don't find those often. Yeah. And fear. Like, you're so comfortable. You're so used to this daily routine with the person. And the fear of being on your own again or, like, into, like, a free world is just, like, scary, you know? Yeah, your whole identity gets wrapped up in the relationship. Especially if you're practically living together because you got your families are intertwined, you got holidays that you share with everybody, and then all of a sudden you're no longer living together or you're no longer dating, and your big part of your social circles, oftentimes they get mixed in, and so you get people take sides at times or whatever, and then you're by yourself again. And oftentimes what happens to guys is they gave up their hobbies years ago. They stopped working out. They haven't talked to their friends in a while. And they, it's like they don't know what to do themselves. Their whole life revolves around the relationship. And now that person's not even in their life. They're not even talking to them anymore. And so it takes time to get back to who you were before the breakup. And like for most long-term relationships that last multiple years, and there's a breakup typically, and especially if there's butthurt feelings or hard feelings or, you know, especially the person that got dumped that didn't want to be dumped, it on average takes about a year and a half for them to completely get over it with the sting of that and the emotional hurt. It's like there's no longer a negative charge. They just kind of like, eh, they've accepted everything that happened about it. And you're not bothered one way or another. You hear about them that they're happy or whatever. And it's like, you don't really care one way or another. You're happy for them, but it's like, eh. completely 
Whereas in the beginning, the feelings are raw. Then you have feelings of doubt. So I go back. Then we do the right thing. Yeah, and sometimes you lose um, friends that you came into the rela relationship end up like being their friend now. Mm -hmm. That sucks so much. And you're like, mm -hmm. what the hell? Or like their friends end up being yours. And it's just like, hope. Oh. Frenemies. Yeah. From friends to enemies. <clears throat>